Hello, it's me, Amanda, and um, this is part of our series of craft crafting and creating on a budget. Creating and crafting on a budget. One of the two, anyway. I found these, uh, they're chamois leathers. I just love the smell of leather. So basically, I think this is like, I don't know how they make these up, but these are like small squares of leather that's been sewn together and you basically use it for your car but I found a way of um, turning it into a journal cover and this is one that I made um, a while back and I painted it using a, um, a stencil and then made the book so I'm going to show you how I painted it and all I've done is Hello. I've okay got... so what I'm going to show you is um, what I've been doing uh, in terms of stencil wise I've been making these um, they're all they are it's hot glue stencils and um, I'm going to use a few of them on here to colour the leather and uh, I've got some word ones I'm gonna keep, try and keep them separately so I've got some just random shapes I'm kind of stuck together because I haven't used them yet and I've just literally um, made them um, right so I'm gonna just add they're sticking to each other because um, I've not yet used them. Once they've been used, then they've had like a layer of um, paint over them and dried. Okay, so I'm just going to add some random shapes that I've made. So I've got like a kind of a starish type shape there. Um, I was trying out a, a variety of things when I made them. Um, so literally just going to okay so we've got like a good amount of shapes now covering and um, so what I'm going to do for this one is actually I'm going to move that one up like so just want to make sure I've got it all covered this one there, one there. okay so all I'm gonna do is get some fabric spray paints that I bought and they come in a wide range of colors you don't have to use I brought these because they were it was just a fiver and what I really wanted them for was the bottles because I'm finding that when I'm filling my, my bottles they um, get clogged up the uh, the nozzle gets clogged up so I was thinking well if they already if it's already a spray paint bottle then once I refill it I should be fine so I'm just gonna spray some colour on there just shake it up so just randomly spraying. I had a green somewhere, but it's gone fallen somewhere. Anyway, I'm gonna use this blue. And that's all I'm gonna do. The other thing I'm gonna do is um, using a sheet of paper, because I've sprayed one side of the um, the stencil. I'm just gonna get a bit of paper, which will mop up some of it. I could have got um, some. It's not really mopped up very much of it. So all I'll do is using another cloth that I'm just kind of playing with and experimenting with and just 
absorb some of that which will have okay and then you take it up and it's gorgeous isn't it it's cool it is just so cool um, like that let's see so these um, the leathers they cost how much did they cost it was a pound they're a pound each Depending on what you want to c cover with them. I mean, obviously, you know, if you've got larger bits of um, leather, then, you know, that's fine. But if you just wanted to start out and just kind of, you know, play with some, I mean, you can get offcuts. I got um, a bag of offcuts for about six pounds, but none of them were like ones that you could then stamp on so i'm gonna let this dry and i'm gonna show you another um way in which you can you know get some interesting designs and patterns on your leather um so other bit of leather okay so the other way that i wanted to show you So I had, I'm just going to have to find them now, um, some stencils that I made from uh, recycled they're from recycled packaging um, and I love them actually they look so pretty so um, the packaging themselves started off as these they're lids for um, it was like a dehumidifier a little small thing with crystals in and um, these are the lids and then when I saw them I thought these would make some really great stencils um, once I was just about to recycle them and I thought no these would make some really good stencils so all I'm doing is separating them from the top bit and I'll show you how I'm going to use it and again it just makes them really nice shapes so this just comes you just cut away as much as you can um, I haven't yet worked on purpose for these I'll just see if I can recycle them as they are um, but as I say you just cut away as close to the edge as possible so that you can get um, as much of the shape as you can and um, I would just recommend that you look out for um, especially when it's made of plastic kind of shapes that you can get in different things and um, see how they can be repurposed because a lot of the things that you're going to be buying in like a craft store um, you've okay obviously you've not got you know you might not have half of the stuff but a lot of the stuff can be adapted in so so many different ways it's um quite amazing when you start off I mean I started off buying loads of stuff um, finding out that it wasn't really what I wanted to do um, and you then end up with loads of equipment that you're not going to use um, luckily enough I found mixed media and 
found that I really, really enjoyed. Um, I really love working with so many different materials and then I found that a lot of the materials that I did have I was able to utilise. Um, so jewellery, I thought I wanted to be a jewellery maker and then realised I actually just wanted to use elements within my pieces. So I've got um, seven pieces here and you know you could even arrange these in a particular shape on if I'd have had another one. Okay, what we're going to do is this. Look at that. So, all I'm going to do is choose maybe three colours. Uh, these three colours, actually, but I really like. Actually, I'm going for these three colours. Okay, and. makes a really nice shape in itself um, and maybe starting with the lightest and working my way out I'm just gonna spray and you're then gonna be left with I think I'm going to use a bit of yellow there as well. Just yellow. Yeah. And that's it. Um, so what I can do with, with these, I know because it's flat, I can get a journal page. Actually, I've got a journal here with some bits on it. And all I'm gonna do, I've got a journal here and I'm just gonna turn them over on the page. But isn't that pretty? that as I lift them up. There's glue on the, there's uh, paint on the other side. But that is so pretty. If you went out and brought this, I mean a stencil like this would have cost quite a lot of money, but look at how we've been able to recreate, not recreate, but create our own unique looking stencil and um, see this just looks like one stencil and then what you could do is arrange it in different shapes um, it's just so pretty it just amazes me at how pretty it is um, so this is uh, um, cami leather and all I need to do is let that dry and then I can use that in a project um, and you can do that for because this is fabric paint any material but you can you know use that on paper um, and I can even I haven't got any spray um, paints or inks I haven't got enough in there I need to um, I need to sort out my studio that's what I need to do so I'm gonna hang this up so that can dry um, I'm even thinking of this one to really add a little bit more interest because it's it's quite faint so I might add some of the words that I've um, done in the um, I've done some words in the glue gun the glue gun stencils so I've got joy I have another one joy faith hope love and a squiggle okay so I'm going to use the because I know this works quite well the darker colour I'm going to use the let's see what we 
like it. And I'm gonna throw in some of the yellow. It's yellow and that color, just to give it. Okay, and then I think what I need to do is just get cloth and just go over it so that it absorbs it absorbs some of that fabric and just it just add it will just add to this okay oh look at that that looks so cool it looks like tie-dye We'll go a bit closer. But as you can see, they're just, I mean, these are, you know, fairly cheap. Um, oh. <laughs> fairly cheap. Uh, I was just wondering, why doesn't that look like love? It's because it's, um, I did it back to front. Anyway, so as you can see, I mean, we're, you're not going to see all the words anyway when we make up the book, and, uh, and we might just um, add some, you know, other elements depending on what side the book um, falls. So, what this needs to do is hang up, and then with these ones, I will just clean off the um, the words. Was a, is that another word? Grace. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to clean these off on this fabric. Just fold it over. And then just rinse the rest out so you're not wasting loads of um, ink, uh, loads of paint. And it adds, you know, additional interest on your on your piece of work. I wanted to show you some of the other um, ones that I did. These to the side. Right. So let me find a bit of material that not been saturated. Yeah. Okay. This is quite a nice, it's like a hanky. I got it in the charity store and it was like six for a fiver. But if you look at the size of them, so again, there's another place you can go, the charity store, and you can pick up some really good bargains. Okay, so I wanted to show some of the shapes that I had done. Um, I think you've seen that one. That's love, um, grace. You've seen those shapes. I did a bird as well. So I'm just gonna lightly spritz these so that well, you can see them on the paper. So we'll, we'll go with orange, shall we? And sometimes, that's just a nice base, sometimes when you mix them, it gives you a nice effect. So this, I know, is, is going to be a nice colour. And it's a great way to um, start a background. If you don't know what to do, if you can't think of something to do, just lay down some of these and it's a good jump start for you. I mean, 
I like even doing these and um, like you know then you don't even see these in the end I'll just um, do something totally random on there it's interesting the black there Let's just add some blue. We won't add too many. Okay. I'm just going to take the base of this up. Let's have a look. Again, so we saw that. We, we know that this one almost looks like grapes. A bunch of grapes. Let's see the love one up here. Yep that works so once I've done this I will then as I say you know get a journal oh, that was a useful so I've just done a the bit that I hadn't done I've just put it put on this side and I'll show you oops, how it looks so I'm quite quite pleased with um, let's see so that's just taken the paint from there um, but what I would often do oh, I love the smell of the leather it's just lovely smell okay it's just get a journal and just put it down and then just press it in and you'll get the shape the glue that was not the glue I keep saying glue the um, ink that was left And then again, that forms the basis of a journal page. So I'm just going to leave those in there. There was some more, I think. Is there seven, isn't there? of another um, got the start of another page or a, um, it's something we're gonna make out of the fabric um, as it dries it's um, it's not as vibrant as the leather. It's quite muted, the colours. Um, and you can either then work on this, uh, cut out individual bits and use it, or as I say, you know, it can, it can go on to be a larger project or a quilted project or um, one of the projects I've been doing is um, making uh, like wall hangings and this is how they start out and basically the uh, wall hanging is about this size um, and then from this I would create an image in the background so that's probably what these are going to be because I love the, the feel of the, the material, it's cotton, um, really lovely cotton. It looks like it's come from a restaurant um, because it came in as a packet of six and uh, a packet of six came as a set of six. I thought that would be really good in an art project. So um, hopefully you've again got some ideas as to what you can do with um, not only the, um, the glue gun stencils but also stencils that you can create yourself 
um, from packaging. There's lots of videos on the internet in terms of how you can also make stencils from cardboard, cut them out and, and create them. Um, and it's to really experiment. And as I say, if you are working on a tight budget, you know, you can still do a lot of creative projects with um, using uh, different varieties of pro products. Um, some of the tools that you might get in a craft store, if you went to a hardware store, you'd find them sometimes at a fraction of a price. Um, like I got my glue gun, one of my glue guns, in a hardware store, and that was like a fiver, and the, um, the glue sticks were two pounds for a packet of 10. So um, you, can, you can get some really good uh, bargains. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting, and do leave a comment, do thumbs up, and do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um, look forward to seeing you next time. Okay.